going to explain the difference between NAD and NMN. So NAD is a coenzyme. It is essential for all living cells and a depletion in it is associated with age-related diseases. Uh, so things like Parkinson's, dementia, etc. So some people take this as an anti-aging supplement. However, it is not very stable. So um, when you're taking it orally, NAD tablets don't work really well. There are other formulations like sublingual tablets or under the tongue. There's subcutaneous injections, but the best formulation to have NAD in is IV infusion fusions but they are time consuming they can take several hours if they're done too quickly they can be quite uncomfortable and they're quite expensive so upwards of 500 pounds uh, or more the next best thing to do is if you can't do the IV infusions of NAD is to have a precursor of NAD and what we mean by precursors is they are um, converted into NAD in the body so one of them is NMN uh, nicotinamide mononucleotide and studies have shown that the oral formulation of these are better absorbed than NAD itself so you can have some of this NMN the best dose to start off with is 250 milligrams and you can gradually increase that to 500 milligrams or a little bit more I'm gonna try these out because I haven't personally tried this brand um, and I'm gonna let you know how it goes